I enjoy shaking up the old ideas. I think it's really important that we get out there and change the way we think. Ecology is the study of interactions between plants and animals and their environment. And in particular, what I do is study big ecologies, taking it to the global scale and asking about the really big scale patterns. And it's just such an important thing to be able to do to understand the way the world around us works. In ecology, a lot of our theories and ideas come from the 60s and 70s. But back then, we didn't have that much data available and the computing that we had and the statistical tools were really quite limited. Nowadays, we've just got so much information and so much computing power that what we can do is really provide new tests of those old ideas. And what's amazing is how many of those are turning out to be false. So traditionally, people looked at one organism in one place. And I think it's very dangerous to take information from ecosystems that you've never been to and to start to interpret those. So what I did was I set up a big study to travel to 75 different ecosystems around the world and actually gather data in those ecosystems myself. I was traveling constantly for two years. I went to a tundra in Alaska. I went to rainforests in the Congo, I went to the deserts in Israel and compiling all of the data that were available from these different sources, hundreds of, of thousands of points in many cases, and using these to provide really powerful tests of some of these big ideas in ecology. We'd always expected that plants would be better defended in the tropics, so they'd be more poisonous, have bigger prickles and that sort of thing to stop animals from eating them. What I found was that actually it went in the opposite direction. The plants towards the Arctic are actually the best defended. And obviously this has got implications for pharmaceutical companies who've usually gone to the tropical systems to look for new bioactive compounds because they're assuming that that's where the toxins in the plants will be most active. My work actually shows that they'd be better off going towards Alaska and Greenland. So one of the other things that my work has done is helped us to understand current large-scale patterns in how plants respond to different climates. Basically, if we don't understand how plants are responding to differences in temperature in the present day, then we really don't have anywhere to start in trying to predict how they're going to respond to a five degree increase in mean temperature. I just love understanding what factors actually make the world the way it is. I think really a scientist is just someone who never quite grew out of being a four-year-old looking at things and going, well, why does it work like that?